สวัสดีครับ Welcome to new episode of Cooking for Fun And that's my colleague Kun Simon Hi Nick Today we have an Australian theme, and Simon, what are we going to cook? Well, last week I saw in the program that Ross was uh, cooking some lamb. This week we're going to cook some lamb also, although we're going to cook it in a completely different way. Uh, we are also doing a chicken Waldorf salad with uh, hazelnuts and a, and a nice uh, walnut oil dressing. Fantastic! So I'm getting hungry already. I do apologize for my voice today because it seems to leave me. But I hope you can understand what I'm saying today. So should we go shopping? I think we should. Simon, I think we need some black currant sauce for uh, the Waldorf salad. That's correct. We do. So I think we take this. You could take black currant jelly, red currant jelly. Uh, You know, some are it's with pork, some without. Today we're using a blackcurrant jelly from England. What is fantastic, nicely dense, very easy to do that. So let's get one of these, and I think we need some spices. spices. Black peppercorn found Black great. Black peppercorn, off we go. Okay, we need some peppercorns. Black peppercorns, yes. Yes, Simon. I think we are here right. I would say. We have a different option here. We have a choice of black peppercorns, yep. and actually, we have black peppercorns in a meal. That's right. So a consumer can absolutely do it at home and basically very, very easy. grind it. But today, we are after whole black peppercorn, and these are here. In this case, they're actually organic, and that means there's no preservatives, nothing, no additives to it, and that's fantastic. So today, we're going for the organic. So right. let's have that. And we put that back on shelf, and let's get the rest. Yes. What's next? Hey Simon, yep. I'm really getting hungry. I want to have some lamb today. I really something fantastic. What do you recommend? Well, we've got a really, really nice uh, piece of lamb with, uh, from Australia. The lamb leg. It's, it's really, really good. Really, really excellent. So you show me later on how to prepare that. Is that correct? I can do that. No problem whatsoever. Okay, let's get a leg of lamb. Just grab the lamb, please. That would be fantastic. Look at that. Thank you very much. I think we should get the chicken breast. The chicken breast, probably with the skin on. I think. Why would you say with the skin on? Well, I think we need the skin on the chicken breast so it keeps it nice and moist during cooking. Otherwise, if we get it with the skin off, it could dry out on us quite quickly. I'd say. Okay, fantastic. Can we have four pieces of the chicken breast with the skin on, please? That looks good. I like them when they're nice and shiny. Yeah. Look at. Well, that's how you tell a nice fresh piece of chicken. That's not that grey color. It's got the nice bright pink. I mean, I fresh. have to say, Thailand has the best chicken from everyday use. Oh, I yeah. know. I mean, it's fantastic. It oh, really is. It is. Yeah, from from start to finish, the, the controlling of the product and the quality of the product is fantastic. Cup, cup, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank cup, you. Cup. So we have our lamb. Yeah, we have our chicken. chicken. I think we should start cooking, huh? I think so. Okay. We see you in the kitchen. Okay.
Well, we're going to make a Waldorf salad with chicken. Fantastic. What we have here is uh, 60 millilitres of cider vinegar, which we'll place that into the bowl. We have uh, two egg yolks, which we can place that in there also. Just give that a, a light whisk. Also, we're going to add a little bit of walnut oil. We'll just season this with a bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. We've got uh, four chicken breasts with the skin on. The reason why we have the skin on is to keep the chicken breast nice and tender and moist so it doesn't dry out on us. What we will do, we'll make three incisions, just piercing the skin and just into the meat just a little bit. That looks very, very good. But all this can be done and prepared in advance, right? That's correct. You can come down to uh, Central Food Hall, ask our butchers and they'll prepare everything for you. And then uh, we can do the marinade. We'll just place this chicken into the bowl. We have 100 grams of, of sugar here. And now that seems like it is quite a lot, but uh, once you do this recipe, it comes out sort of salty and sweet, uh, sweet and salty. So we'll add that sugar in. So you need some wine, I think. Take your fingers, it's much nicer. Uh, what do you also, want, red or white? We'll have some white wine, Nick, please, if you could help me. Of course. And we also have uh, 50 grams of salt, we can add a little bit of that in there as well. Again, that looks like a lot. It does look like a lot, as I said, but it's a, it's a sweet and salty sort of flavour. And after we marinate it for six hours, you wash it off under water. So how much of my... About, about a cup good. and a half, a cup would be... We'll just add a, a little bit of black pepper. Now we've got a bit of fresh thyme here. A bit of fresh thyme. And this will give it some, some nice flavour. I, I love fresh herbs, you know that. Fresh herbs are really good. And you must use fresh herbs. That is the, the, the best way to get instant flavour. So, and we would put that now in the fridge, right? In the refrigerator for six hours, yes. So Simon, we have washed our chicken. What are we going to do with it now? Well, we're going to uh, place it in the oven. First, we will put a little bit of olive oil on our roasting dish. Not too much, just to stop it sticking. We can just uh, place it on it. Place it on the on, on the on the roasting dish. How many minutes does it go into the oven? About 20 minutes in the oven at around about uh, 200 degrees Celsius. Okay, let's do that. Fantastic. And while that is cooking, we should make our salad. Yes, we will. We've got our, our dressing here that we made earlier. Just give that a, a quick mix. Nick, if you could pass me that salad bowl. I certainly can. 